megafauna. Why Africa has so many large animals? Africa is the oldest inhabited continent, geologically and biologically. It has had long periods without major ice ages covering the whole land, unlike Europe or North America, so species had more time to evolve and survive. Large parts of Africa are tropical or subtropical, with consistent sunlight and warmth all year. This boosts plant growth, which supports herbivores, which in turn support predators. A huge variety of habitats exists in Africa. Savannas, deserts, rainforests, wetlands, mountains, each hosting different species. Africa's savannas are dominated by grasses, which can regrow quickly even after grazing or fires. This allows population of large herbivores like zebras, wildebeests, antelopes or elephants to thrive in numbers not seen anywhere else. With so many herbivores, there is enough food to sustain large carnivores. Lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, wild dogs. Nowhere else has such a complete set of big predators and big prey still living in the wild. Africa is the origin of humans and many animal lineages. Animals like giraffes, zebras, rhinos and hippos evolved only here, so they remain unique to the continent. In other continents, many big animals like mammoths, giant sloths, saber-toothed cats went extinct after humans spread there. In Africa, animals had millions of years to adapt to humans, so many large species survived. In contrast with Africa, Europe's current megafauna includes bison, bears, wolves and deer. It's very shallow compared to its former richness. Asia fares better in that account, since it still has elephants, rhinos and big cats. Australia's megafauna includes some kangaroos, emus, cassowaries and saltwater crocodile. By the way, the same saltwater crocodile is also present in Asia and Africa. Respectively, South America's megafauna includes jaguars and tapirs. Some large primates and birds there are also sometimes attributed to megafauna, but it's debatable. In North America, megafauna is moose, deer, bison, bear. Also, there are some large marine animals. They sometimes also attributed to megafauna. Those are whales, sharks and manatees. To be clear, megafauna are defined as large-bodied animals, typically weighing over 45 kilograms. By that classification, humans are also megafauna. This is not a joke. However it may be, if you want to see large animals, traveling to Africa should be number one on your list. It's also worth including Asia to that list. For example, Sri Lanka has a very large population of Asian elephants. This should give you some idea why Africa is so popular for wildlife safaris. The best safaris in the world unmatched by any other continent.